Hey guys, long time no see. I am in my pajamas. I've just been cleaning the house and I decided to actually film for once. <laughs> I have a lot of ideas coming, a lot of makeup videos I want to do, and a lot of book reviews. So um, if you guys have been wondering where I've been, uh, my niece moved in and I just didn't have the oomph, the energy to film. Today is my April TBR. I know that I completely skipped the month of March. So just bear with me. Um, the first book that I am going to talk about is 40,000 Words by Nicholas Leonard and I'm going to be reading it on Google, not Google, Amazon. Um, I don't have it in physical copy. He commented on one of my videos and he's like, it's a gothic romance. And I'm like, oh, I'd love that. And I will do a video telling about how I liked it. And if you guys should read it too. So yeah, that's the first one I'm going to read. The second one I'm going to read is The Merciless. I have been reading this one this month, but I haven't finished. So um, the back says, forgive us, Father, for we have sinned. For some reason, there is red pin crayon in the back of this book. I don't know. Definitely wasn't me. So I'm going to read you the synopsis. By the way, I've read this book before, and it's really good, and I don't remember anything. And my niece has the rest except for the last one, so I'm going to be rereading going to be reading this series and doing a whole like what's the best book is it worth it should you read it too so this is by Danielle Vega um Brooklyn Stevens sits in a pool of her own blood tied up and gagged no one on the out no one outside of the dank basement walls knows she's here no one can hear her scream Sophia Flores knows she shouldn't have gotten involved when she befriended the popular girls on her first day of school. She admired their perfect hair and their good girl ways. They said they wanted to save Brooklyn. They wanted to help her. Sophia didn't realize that they believed Brooklyn was possessed. Now Sophia's new friends are performing an exorcism on Brooklyn, but their idea of an exorcism is closer to torture than salvation. In this chilling debut, uh, Danielle Vega delivers blood-curdling suspense and terror at every turn. I have read another standalone book by her. It's so good. I gave it to a ex-friend and I don't think she ever gave it back. So I'm going to have to get that one again and tell you guys all about it because it's fantastic. Uh, Danielle Vega is an excellent writer. Um, the next one, you guys know that I'm slowly working through Twilight, <laughs> and I did not read The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. It's on the list. Probably read that before Eclipse or after. Or during. Probably during. Um, so I'm almost done with Midnight Sun. Don't come at me. I've, it's been a busy year. A busy six, seven months, however long it's been since it came out. But I'm going to be reading Twilight. Uh, this is obviously the cover from the movies. There was a poster in the back. There is uh, Stephanie Meyer. Let's see. Illustrated movie companion, which I do have. And it's got Twilight discussion questions. Because for some reason in like... When did this book come out? 2006? Uh... 2005. Don't mind the sound. There's squirrels in my wall, I think. Um, they put, like, reading questions to get people talking about it or something. Like, I'll, I'll read you a couple. I'm not going to read you the synopsis of Twilight because everyone knows it by now. And if you don't... Interesting. Um... So some of the Twilight, 
highlight discussion questions are, is the fact that Edward can't read Bella's thoughts more important than it seems? Do you think it will serve a larger purpose? Bella faints at the smell of blood. If she were to become a vampire, how might this uh, serve as a hindrance? How might it be an asset? And like the last one is, there's 10 of them. The last one is Stephanie Meyer has noted that each of the novels in Twilight Saga plays, hom uh, plays homage to liter literary classics. For Twilight, she said Pride and Prejudice was a key inspiration. Pride and Prejudice is often described as a romantic comedy. What parts of Twilight are romantic? What parts are comic? Uh, describe the similarities between Elizabeth Bennet and Bella Swan, Fitzwilliam Darcy, and Edward Cullen. Uh, what role would Bella's friends play in a remake of the Jane Austen classic story? I have never read Pride and Prejudice. I don't think I own it. If I do own it, then I will throw it in there. But you guys know that I won't probably make it through <laughs> this month, but I will put it on the list. Maybe that's what I'll do. After I'm done rereading Twilight, I will take all the books that represent them and I will read them and then I will tell you guys if they're similar or not I guess um yeah those are oh I have one more book and then the next book I am going to read is five Greek tragedies uh Sophocles Europe Europe I, I can't um I know most of the Greek tragedies, so I'm excited. Uh, I will read you the back. Uh, five, five Greek tragedies. Uh, this remarkable low-priced anthology. Why is it saying low-priced? That's weird. Low-priced anthology brings together five of the greatest, most studied, and most performed Greek tragedies, each in an outstanding translation. The first one is Oedipus Rex and Electra by Sophocles, translated by George Young, in which the much-admired playwright explores the individual's search for truth and self-knowledge. The next one is Media and Bacchae, uh, by Europees. Don't come at me. It's been a long day. I'm so tired. <laughs> if you can't tell, like... Um... Translated by Henry Hart Millman. Favorites with modern audiences for their psychological sub subtly and the human humanity of their characters. And then there's Prometheus Bound. Translated by George Thompson. A monumental work that ex examines relations between humans and the gods. These masterpieces of were... These masterpieces of world literature represents of the very apex of Greek drama and essential for both home library and classroom. Dover 2004 unabridged republication of the play's standard edition. I hated that, but yeah, it's just plays. It'll be really quick, really easy read. Um, most of you know that I grew up. Christian, uh, I did have a New King James, no, King James Bible, so, like, I understand Old English very well, and I'm assuming that that's what that's gonna be. Look at my brand new plant my niece got me for my birthday, which is in six days, seven, six or five days, I'm not sure. Um, yes, this was a shorter video but I'm getting back into the swing of things. I am finishing my gaming channel tomorrow and so I will be posting at least once a week on there, twice on here. Our podcast comes out either Wednesday or Tuesdays which we have completely rebranded. It is now called or PNA podcast. I think it's PNA podcast. <sighs> I'm not used to being in front of the camera anymore, so that's all I have for you right now. I love you guys. I will see you guys either next week, depending on when this video comes out, or later on this week. 
Um, stay happy in whatever walk of life you're in because that's what matters the most. And I will see you guys later. Bye.